We always say everybody is a critic, but now everybody is a critic. Everybody is online, everybody can post, everybody can tweet, and mm -hmm. we do, and they do. And in a way, every opinion is as valid as the next. Right. So why should I be listening to you, or why should you be listening to me? What gives validity to it is the ability to kind of capture the movie and explore what it's about and express what you feel about it in a way that is powerful and compelling. How we respond to a film, how we respond to something starts with, you know, whatever the jazz is that's going inside of you. And if you find ways to express how a movie made you feel, well, mm -hmm. that's great, but it's just how it made you feel. Well, part of the reason we were such a great team at Entertainment Weekly, you believe as staunchly in your opinions as I do, you are a fiercely independent yes, critic. Yes, but I don't come around and say, and I can't believe all those people who liked it. Well, when I, I don't know. know I've heard you say. I've heard you say that. I've heard you. <laughs> <laughs> My parents took me to drive-in movies in 1967 and 68 when I was eight and nine years old to see all these movies that were hugely inappropriate. Was I drawn to the dark side of things because my parents took me to these movies, or because I was kind of reacting to something in my father? I don't have definitive answers to that, that your taste is subjective, and it comes from a place deep within you. So deep that I suggest some of the reasons for it, but I can't completely explain my own taste, especially because the bottom line is, whatever formed it, I just even hear you list those movies that I loved, and I'm just going like, hell yeah, those are great movies. <laughs> I would become addicted to these films, and I would see them not three times, not eight times, but like 40 times. I would play them like albums, just over and over. You, After said, there was you said, being a film critic made respectable the essential pathology of my movie-going habit. <laughs> Watching films as a way to hide from the world and spy on it at the same time, page 91. <laughs> <laughs> if your book is made into a movie, who would you want to have play both of you? <laughs> I think the possibility of that is so remote that I haven't even oh, considered on, that. Really? No, it's like I, not having an Oscar speech ready. Come I, I, on, I, have I, I, don't, I honestly don't have the Oscar speech. All right, I I'm can't. going with Sigourney Weaver or Angelica Houston. <laughs> okay, thank you.